the year in July. So congratulations, it's incredible. You not only won New Designer of the Year, did you? You also won two other awards? Yes, I got two Platinum Awards. Um, they're called Design Innovation Awards. Um, one was for a DNA pendant that I uh, made in Platinum. And the idea is that each uh, prospective wearer, we take a sample of their blood and uh, it goes to the laboratory and we look at uh, an area of their unique DNA and uh, we get the, uh, the analysis of their DNA and we use the letters in their DNA code to order the stones that wrap around the pendant. So each piece is totally unique. The other piece was called Diadem, which is a two finger ring uh, that is representative of the jewels of the Middle Ages and Gothic architecture and diamonds that uh, goes high above the central Tanzanite stone. And what were the stumbling blocks in creating these pieces? They were both technically very difficult to do. The DNA pendant has um, stones that wrap around a tight curve, so they had to be specially cut and very difficult to set. And with the diadem piece, the central tanzanite is completely in encased within the ring, so it had to be laser welded, which is quite technical. How do you source the gemstones? The gemstones are bought to me by uh, a network of dealers. They're bought into London for me specifically on my requirements, so they go to the country of origin and they source the stones specially for me. And what inspires you to create? Um, a lot of things, really. Uh, I, um, I did a degree in biochemistry, so um, my dendritic collection, for example, is inspired by molecular branching patterns. Um, and then I love things like architecture and, uh, and engineering as well. So I take all these influences in my designs. So do you agree that jewellery and fashion have become more intertwined? I think so, definitely, yes. I think over the years, um, jewellery has kind of looked to fashion for inspiration. And uh, pieces these days are much more uh, fashion aware than they used to be. Mm. And at the moment more and more women are using jewellery to update their look rather than buying new clothes. So do you think this is an ongoing trend? I think so, yes. I think um, you can... Uh, gemstones are very much in fashion at the moment and you can really get pieces that uh, follow the colourways of what you might want to wear. So you, I get customers ordering the same piece in different colours so that they can match what they're going to uh, pick for their outfit that evening. So jewellery is obviously still a very good investment. Yeah, definitely so, I think, yeah, definitely, because the, the value of the materials is going up, and also these days, um, if you can make strong statement pieces of jewellery, they're almost considered slightly more as pieces of art than, than just objects, mm -hmm. so they have an intrinsic value to themselves as well. So are a lot of customers continuing to buy for themselves or as gifts? I think a lot of, a lot of people buy for themselves these days. They want jewellery that reflects their personality and the things that they like. So I think a lot of my customers buy for themselves. Mm. And in terms of it being a fashion piece, how do you ensure that your collections remain on trend? Um, it's difficult, really. I think I, we all sh share spheres of influence. So I just kind of design from the heart, and I don't really look at other things, and I just have to hope that people will still like my designs. Mm. So, the Dendritic Collection, which is launching on Flash Trash yes. this evening, could you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, these are molecular inspired pieces, and um, they all use uh, uh, round gemstones in 18 karat gold, so that they have a real high visual impact, but yet are quite light to wear and quite uh, versatile. And what kind of woman would wear these pieces? I think, I think someone who's going to be both sexy and smart, I think. Hey, thanks Alex for talking to us. Thank you. And thank you for watching everyone. Alex's collection is now live on Flash Trash.